So it's not unknown that Apple are creating some Apple glasses or eyeglasses and we would really love to hear of an eyeglasses 2021 announcement. So today I'm going to explain what they do and what we have heard so far in leaks and what we expect the Apple glasses release date and price to be. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So as mentioned, we know that Apple are very keen in creating a pair of Apple glasses and it's looking likely they will be very AR dependent. So I've decided to create a summary video for all you Apple fanboys and girls of everything we know about the Apple Glass release date along with what we could expect for the Apple Glasses price and also some of those features we will get with those eyeglasses. But if you are a massive fan of Apple products, hit that like button and let me know what Apple products you are planning to buy in 2021 in the comments as well. Cheers! Anyway, let's dive in on that latest Apple Glasses news. Apple AR glasses have been a source of speculation for years, with patents from Apple going back all the way from 2015 and 2017 detailing AR related software and hardware. But it wasn't until around 2019 where Apple were really pushing on AR in all their keynotes and demos. And that's why Apple is likely to bring out an AR eyewear project. And as the rumor mill released more and more early information, it looks like it's coming true very soon. Just take a look at the iPad Pro and the iPhone 12 announcements from last year for example. Both events talked about the new LiDAR sensor, and you guessed it, the sensor is mainly to help with AR. So a dedicated AR device is definitely incoming. So there was a real slim chance as well that we could have seen some Apple glasses during 2020, mainly probably at the WWDC 2020 event, but nothing was shown in the end. We did have our doubts that any announcement would be made, to be fair. At the end of the day, the industry analyst Ming Chai Kao initially said manufacturing of any AR specs would get underway at the end of 2019 or the start of 2020. According to MoneyUDBN.com, noting that they would be reliant on a connected iPhone to do lots of processing and connectivity for the actual Apple glasses. But we are now in 2021 with no glasses in sight. A research note from Cal Surfers that say that it had been pushed back with an estimated release date of 2022 now. But before you get too upset that 2022 is a long way away, another source has said that while they might not go on sale until then, they're likely to be announced at some point in 2021. The source added that they will apparently be called Apple Glass. For Apple to announce the glasses and then release the product say three or even six months later, it's not unheard of either. We saw the Mac Pro, the trash can shaped device announced in June 2013 and it actually came out five months later. And then again, the same with the newer Mac Pro, that was announced in June 2019 and it didn't actually come out right to the very end of 2019. Other sources meanwhile have said that they're still coming out but they've been delayed by years with an AR headset apparently landing in either 2021 or 2022, followed by AR glasses in 2023. As you can see, it's a bit of a mess right now and there's lots of confusion and debate around when or even if we'll get Apple glasses. But the latest leaks suggest that they might be announced not too long from now. But guessing our actual hands on them, that's gonna be a different story entirely. So no, it's not the news we wanted exactly here. But let's take a look at the Apple glasses leaks and rumours, as well as Apple's argumented reality background and why AR specs seem like the next big move for the tech giant. So let's get the next big item crossed off the list, and that is the Apple glasses price. So a suggestion suggests that Apple glasses will cost around 499 US dollars, and that will be around 410 UK pounds. And of course, that is not including any prescription charges to alter the glass lenses if needed. So let's talk more about what we've seen in patent and specs. So our biggest leak is none other than our channel favorite, John Prozer. 
John was the first to say that Apple glasses will actually be called Apple Glass and will be capable of displaying information on both lenses, with a user controlling via gestures both on and in front of the frames. John has also said that everything will be handled by a connected iPhone and Apple Glass supposedly won't have conventional cameras but will have a LiDAR sensor to power the actual AR experiences. Other details include that there won't be a sunglasses version as the display won't work with tinted lenses. Also that outside observers looking at you directly face on won't be able to see anything on the lenses and also at the same time as well that the prototype at least will be made out of plastic. However, this could change for the real deal. Prosser also said that Apple was experimenting with a special Steve Jobs edition version of the glasses. That would act like an Apple Watch edition, where the company sells a certain style of its product for a higher price. From another source, Mark Gurman at Bloomberg has said that the previous information isn't correct though, so take all of this with a big pinch of salt what John Prosser has just proposed. Beyond that, Apple has been busy picking up companies with an interest in AR which suggests it's prepping its own product. And recently Tim Cook said that Apple had several new products in the pipeline that would just blow you away. And I think one of them is Apple Glass. We've also seen a bunch of Apple patents appear recently, explaining how specialist lenses could be used to cast images on a user's eye, and how an iPhone or iPad could be used as a controller. Perhaps the biggest leak was in fact an injury report out of Apple's Cupertino headquarters and it suggests that two employees had eye injuries due to working on a prototype unit. Apple has also made a number of key AR talent hires over the years. According to a rumor from Bloomberg, Apple has persuaded a leading employee of NASA for the project in hiring Jeff Norris, founder of Mission Operation Innovation Office at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. His team is apparently 1,000 people strong and the AR glasses they're working on are said to be a high quality resolution of cameras, 3D scanning and an amazing display and advanced human detection also built straight into them. They're also apparently working on an AR headset which could launch first with a design like the Oculus Quest but a lightweight, more comfortable build instead. In more recent news in May 2020, Apple confirmed it acquired NextVR, a startup that produced virtual reality content from the likes of NBA and Fox Sports. While it's unclear how this could impact Apple AR glasses, it's logical the startup's expertise will contribute to the product design in some way. So I've been banging on about Apple glasses and that they will mainly use AR. And some of you have probably heard of AR, but not fully understood what it actually does and have I actually seen it before. So to be honest, you probably actually have seen it. So some of the most popular examples of AR are lenses and filters available on Instagram and Snapchat. The ones where, for example, you stick your tongue out and a dog's tongue appears over the top of it, or your ears change into a dog's ears, or you have hearts coming out of your eyeballs, or for example, if you're doing a video chat and you can put on a silly hat on top of your head and it follows you around. They are all AR experiences. Another great example before the days of COVID-19 when we could go out and about was Pokemon Go where your Pokeball and your Pokemon could be seen through a combination of through your phone's camera and the phone's screen. So with all these possibilities that have become reality in the last couple of years, imagine now if you could slip on some glasses and when you run into say a train station and your glasses automatically tell you the train times to your destination right in front of you and it will show you arrows and guys on the floor to get you to the correct platform on time to catch your train. Or maybe you say to Siri in the middle of a supermarket, how do I make a great chicken curry? And then at that moment on your screen straight away, it will show you all the ingredients you need and it will guide you down all the correct aisles to the right location to pick up those ingredients so you can take them home and make yourself a great curry. I could think of many more examples, but I think you have the idea now. Now, I will say this, the idea of AR glasses have been invented before some years ago. This was none other than Google Glass. 
These advanced smart glasses were tipped to change everything, tech to the way we live, by overlaying layers of information onto the real world. But thanks to people not really into this type of tech, financial problems and design challenges, they never really fully came out, apart from a small number of developers and testers getting their hands on them. Although the trouble story of Google Glass may sound a bit of a failure, it actually taught tech companies a great deal about building AR, tech-enabled eyewear and the challenges of bringing a whole new product category to the market. It was very soon after that Google pulled the plug on the Google Glass that Apple invested into the AR and the AR kit they offer right now. And that's where we've got to today with AR. So are you excited about the future of Apple Glasses or Apple Glass? Will it be a piece of tech you invest in and get? Let me know below if you plan to get it. Of course, if we get any more news about the Apple Glasses, we will share it with you. But that is the current review of everything we know so far. So don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do press subscribe followed by that bell. Until next time guys, see you soon.